I'm here with um, Malcolm Dixon, who's a Hastings District Councillor. Um, Malcolm, a lot of people that I've spoken to, councillors and mayors in the region, have said the fundamental issue is that the system of local government in New Zealand is broken. Would you concur with that? Yeah, parts of it are broken. And I just make a comparison for you. Um, during during and after, oh, after the cyclone, I've been up to Gisborne two or three times. And they are a unitary council where they're in charge of all their own decision making. They don't, they're not accountable to a regional council. They haven't got one. So I'm thinking here, why can't all of our local councils become unitary authorities and the regional council uh, is no longer with us? That's a point of real discussion that we need to have. Because currently, people don't know whether a drain or a waterway or a creek or a stream is it district or is it regional? You go back to when they had the um, categories one, two, or three. They were uh, regional decisions that district council had to implement. Yeah. Wouldn't it be far easier if the one council was responsible for their own decisions. So you are you you saying that there should still be the different council councils in terms of Hastings, Napier. CHB and Wairu, but there should be no regional council and all those uh, councils should be responsible for their own sort of environmental and infrastructure uh, and other projects. Yeah, absolutely. And a really recent example of that is up in Wairau, clearing the bar. Yeah. I think if that Wairo council, that would have been cleared two days earlier. Yeah. And they wouldn't have had all the flooding. Locals yeah. know best. Yeah. Now, just in terms of that, because um, obviously the the contentious issue of amalgamation has been raised once again, and um, and people saying maybe that's the way forward. Uh, you not from what you've just said, you're not quite going that far. But do you believe that amalgamation is something that that should be considered? Yeah, it could be considered, but what's happened over recent years, we've had some tremendous working parties, and I've been leading one to do with the uh, Hawke's Bay Museum um, Archives and Research Centre Storage Facility in Queen Street there. Yes. And um, we've all got on really well together. We've all discussed it with Iwi. They've been around the table. The Museum Trust Board's been around the table. Both councils have been around the table. And it's taken us about six years. We've come to a really, really sweet spot by working together. And I think that's the way for the future. So you you say an amalgamation, it's rather uh, working together as different councils rather than amalgamating uh, councils into one council. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, because um, some might say that even if you don't add Wairau and um, Central Hawke's Bay on, uh, there should be, there is a case for um, uh, Napier and Hastings with only like 30 kilometres between them, becoming one council. Do you say that's not the way to go? I was originally for amalgamation. Yeah. And I really supported that amalgamation debate. But since we've got our heads all around the same table and are working together, there's a lot more benefits in doing that because they've all got their own identities. Napier's a completely different place from Hastings. Yeah. I mean, some say that the boundaries are also an issue because you have a situation where you have X Valley and that uh, where many people identify as being part of, of Napier, but yet they fall in Hastings District Council area. Well, they, they could consider a slight realignment. Yeah. That would yeah. be a concern problem to me. Yeah. Now, just in terms of, so what you are saying, that councils should work together and that would mean also, obviously, shared services. There are lots of uh, shared services going on at the moment. How do you think those are working, and what are the opportunities for more shared services? Yeah. I think there's a really good shared opportunity around marketing, and communication, yeah. and IT. You know, the IT platform across New Zealand, basically. <laughs> I think that that's the real opportunities for for us to make progress in. Okay, and um, anything else? As far as, um, look, what's going to come up is I, 
the Maori wards is out there basically. Yeah. And I must admit that I've been uh, delighted and pleasantly surprised with the way that we've all got on together, that the councillors that have been around as Maori ward councillors, they've been very good. They bring a different perspective to the table, um, which has been tremendous. And they've got a social conscience right across the board that I don't think a number of councillors, unless you've really been in education, actually can bring. Yeah. And so that, that's the benefit of actually having them around the table. Yeah. That social conscience they bring and their perspective in life. Yeah, because your, yours was the council that actually voted, I think, unanimously to um, keep uh, the um, Māori wards. Obviously, you're now facing a referendum coming up because of the change in government le legislation. Some of the councils weren't as forthcoming. Uh, CHB, there was a bit of a divided view. Um, do you think this is going to be a really continue to be a contentious issue? Yes, it will be. It will be until such days they've actually experienced them. Yeah. I think that's been our advantage. Yeah. We've had three years of actually working out and seeing how they work. 